my self kg misra i hope all of you are fine and all of you are following the suggestions given for the lockdown period and all of you are safe okay this is a family at the same time our your studies must not suffer so for that i am here with the the next topic of the chapter motion and that next topic is speed see what speed is actually see speed tells us that how much faster a body is covering the distance okay so if you uh, go to the definition of the speed no it is the distance covered per unit time what is speed it is distance covered per unit time is called speed now it is a scalar quantity and denoted by v its si unit is meter per second that is its si unit its other units are like kilometer per hour okay now you you will require to convert the uh, speed from meter per second to kilometer per hour sometimes kilometer per hour to meter per second so for that i'm giving you conversion suppose it is given x meter per second so it will be if you want to convert it to kilometer per hour you have to multiply it by 18 by 5 then you will get you will get in kilometer per hour if the speed is given suppose in kilometer per hour so you have to convert into meter per second and in order to convert into meter per second what you have to do you have to multiply it by 5 by 18 and then you will get it into meter per second so these are the conversion factors with the help of which you can convert from meter per second to kilometer per hour and from kilometer per hour to meter per second now speed actually divided of it is of two types or we can say uh, there is a instantaneous speed and there is a average speed okay now what is this instantaneous speed suppose a uh, a vehicle is moving okay suppose you got a very nice car no so this is a very nice car suppose your car is there okay somewhat like this and uh, it is moving and you know there is a speedometer there okay on the front this so the speedometer you will find the needle is there and that needle keeps on fluctuating so suppose at any point of time suppose at 10 o'clock 10 hours 15 minutes 20 second this time am you saw that needle and that needle was pointing at 100 mark because you will find here 120 is there here you will find 140 is there okay here you will find 90 is there then you will find 80 is there okay suppose that needle is pointing towards 100 so that means at that instant its instantaneous speed is 100 km per hour okay so the speed of a body at a particular time or at a particular place is called instantaneous speed of that body okay so speed of a body at a particular time or at a particular place okay is called its instantaneous speed particular place or particular position you can see its instantaneous speed suppose you were moving in a car and that car uh, was passing by passing through uh, the gate of your school this is gate of your school okay that is school gate and that time you saw the speed of the car was 120 km per hour 
so that is the instantaneous speed with okay near the gate school your school gate okay so instantaneous speed is not about all about the at, uh, speed of a body at a particular point time but also at a particular place okay both can be told as instantaneous speed and your speedometer gives gives the instantaneous speed now then what is the use of this average speed see instantaneous speed keep may, may keep on changing okay and it may remain constant also if a body is moving with a constant speed then instantaneous speed is same okay always it's not going to change at all but if a body is moving with a variable speed and suppose one of your friend ask you uh, with what speed you came to my house to meet me so it become very difficult for you to tell the speed because you cannot make keep on making a long chart of the speeds with which you have covered to reach your friend's home so in that case you have to find the average speed and what is average speed it is the total distance traveled or covered upon total time taken taken okay it is total distance traveled by total time taken okay so now uh total distance covered upon total time taken so speed is given by v and distance is given by s and time is given by small d this is the formula for this now in different situation we will find the average speed has got different formula i have seen no there is one formula is given in ncrt that is u plus v by 2 is equals to v average okay here yeah, average average speed we write by v average okay so it is given average speed like that and i have seen that children use this formula whenever there is average speed is asked but it cannot be used everywhere this is this can be used only for a particular case and what is that case i will tell you just don't worry so we are going to discuss different cases about the average speed okay so case 1 case 1 what is there a body is there which travels first s1 distance with the speed v1 and the remaining s2 distance with the speed v2 and we have to we have we have to find out the average speed for whole journey see for that we require total distance total distance is how much it is s1 plus s2 but we don't have time so we know that the formula for speed is speed is equals to distance upon time okay so if we apply here suppose here time taken is let it be t1 and let time taken here is t2 so from here what we can get we can write t is equals to s by v so for this case if time is t1 so we can get t1 is equals to s1 by v1 because distance covered is s1 speed is v1 so s1 by v1 is time taken in this this part of journey for this remaining part of the journey the time taken let it be t2 so t2 is equals to s2 by v2 and therefore we can get total time that is t1 plus t2 and so we can add these two so we will get s1 by v1 plus s2 by v2 and so we can take the lcm so we have to multiply these two so v1 v2 s1 v2 plus s2 v1 that's what we will get that is the total time now we have got total distance we have got total time so that means we can find out the average speed now okay so average speed will be average speed is equals to s by t is equals to s1 plus s2 upon this value that is s1 v2 plus s2 v1 by v1 v2 
and you know very well when we are dividing a, num a number by a fractional number then we can invert the fractional number and multiply it so if we can do that we are going to do that now okay s1 plus s2 we have to keep in bracket and we multiply this v1 v2 will come up in the numerator and here we will have s1 v2 plus s2 v1 and this is the expression for average speed in this case so average speed is s1 plus s2 v1 v2 by s1 v2 plus s2 v1 this is the average speed so this was the first case when a body is traveling a part of the distance with certain speed and remaining part with some other speed we can find out the average speed in this way using this formula now case 2 uh, let us keep this result here and here we can start case 2 for case 2 what is there situation is almost similar only there is a small difference what difference is there these two distances are equal that means total distance the body has to travel is 2s and the body has traveled half of the distance with the speed v1 and remaining half of the distance with the speed v2 okay obviously v1 v2 may not be equal so in this case what we get can we write s1 is equals to s2 is equals to s and that we can put in the formula so we get the average speed so formula for average speed for this case will be instead of s1 s2 we will write s plus s v1 v2 by s v2 plus s v1 that's what we will get putting this value here we will get that now i'm going to remove this because this case already we have done what we get from here you can see s plus s is 2s 2s v1 v2 can we take s common here we will get v2 plus v1 s s can be cancelled out what we will get 2 v1 v2 upon v2 plus v1 so this is the formula for average speed in this case you require to remember just the formula not the derivation okay just i am deriving so that you can come to know how it has arrived okay so in this way when the body is traveling half of the distance with one speed and the remaining half of the distance with the some other speed then the formula for average speed is this one okay using both the speeds you can find out the average speed it is not u plus v by 2 okay now we are going for the case 3 for case 3 let us discuss the situation first situation is this much now see we have here suppose a body has traveled for time t1 with the speed v1 on for the remaining journey it has traveled for time t2 with speed v2 for first part of the journey that is for time t1 the body has traveled with speed v1 for the remaining part of the journey that is for time t2 the body has traveled with speed v2 so what is the total time here t1 plus t2 but we don't have distance here that is the problem but we know the formula for speed is v is equals to s by t that is v is equals speed is equals to distance by time so from here distance is equals to what speed into time so we have got speed and time okay Suppose distance for this case is S1 and distance for this case is S2. Suppose we don't know. We are just taking the symbols. Okay. So we can, can we write S1 will be how much? It is V1 T1. And S2 will be how much? It is V2 T2. So total distance will be how much? It is S1 plus S2. And that is V1 T1 plus V2 T2. We are just, just putting the value of S1 here. At the place of s1 at the place of s2 i'm putting this value here okay so we have got this total distance here we have got total time so average speed 
as we know it is total distance covered by total time taken so v1 t1 plus v2 t2 by t1 plus t2 this is the formula so this is the formula for average speed when a body covers or travels for some time t1 with the speed v1 and for the remaining time t2 with the speed v2 then this will be the this formula will be applicable okay now fourth case for fourth case again it is similar to this case only so this result i will keep and the remaining i'm going to rub okay. now here one thing has changed that is for half of the time the body travels with speed v1 for remaining half of the time the body travels with speed v2 now the question is what is the average speed for whole journey so again the same expression will be used only the thing has which has changed that is t1 is equals to t2 is equals to t that's what we have to place in this equation because other things are same so here what we will get average speed we will get here v1 is as it is t1 will be equal to t so v1 t plus v2 t upon t plus t so what you will get you will get here you can take t common you will have v1 plus v2 by 2t nothing is 2t okay it is 2t not 2t it is 2t so t t gets cancelled what you get i'm going to rub this out now because we don't need this anymore so v average is this much and v average average speed is v1 plus v2 by 2 okay and this is the case which is given in ncrt which is given as u plus v by 2 is equals to v average okay this is the case when body is traveling for half of the time with speed v1 and for the remaining half of the time with the speed v2 that means when body is traveling for first half of the time with speed u and for the remaining half of the time with speed v then this formula will be applicable to find the average speed okay and when now we can take the case 5 what happens in case 5 that is very simple case okay generally we don't discuss it because it is already told in average speed that total distance covered upon total time taken but then also suppose a body covers s1 distance with time in time t1 and s2 distance with in time t2 then total distance is how much s1 plus s2 and total time is t1 plus t2 so average speed very easily you can write total distance covered by total time taken that is s1 plus s2 by t1 plus t2 okay in this way you can uh find out the average speed in this case when the distance and time is given now so this was all about the cases of uh, all about the different uh, cases for average speed okay next is uniform speed see what is the meaning of uniform speed see a body covering equal distance in equal intervals of time however small the intervals may be then body is said to have uniform speed now see what does it means i think you have written the definition very nice now i'm i'm starting the explanation okay so for that i have to clear the board see first thing a body is covering equal distance in equal intervals of time suppose you are watching a car and you have seen that from 0 to 1 second the body has covered 10 meter from 1 to 2 second the body has covered again 10 meter 
फ्रॉम टू टू थ्री सेकेंड यू हैव सीन बॉडी हैज कवर्ड अगेन टेन मीटर इफ दिस इज द सिचुएशन ओके इन इक्वल इंटरवल्स ऑफ टाइम सी देर इज इंटरवल ऑफ वन सेकेंड एंड इंच वन सेकेंड इट इज कवरिंग हाउ मच टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड टेन मीटर ओके सो इट इट इज हैविंग यूनिफॉर्म स्पीड बट देर इज अ कंडीशन इज गिवेन हाउ एवर स्मॉल द इंटरवल्स मे बी वट डज इट मीन्स सपोज देर इज अनदर ऑब्जर्वर observing the same car and the observer has observed that okay from 0 to 0.5 second the car has traveled suppose 7 meter or rather to take 3 meter and from 0.5 second to 1 second it has traveled 7 meter now you tell me is it a uniform speed no that's what is given if a body is covering equal distance in equal intervals of time and if you make the intervals very very small then also if it is covering equal distance in equal intervals of time only then the speed of the body will be uniform and if it is not like this suppose here it is appears to be uniform but if you make the intervals very small what you are finding it is not covering equal distance in equal interval of time so the speed is non uniform okay we call it non uniform speed okay clear what is uniform speed for non uniform speed you can write the definition please continue when a body covers equal distance in in equal intervals of time then the speed of the body is non uniform then the speed of the body is non uniform okay or or you can write in the other way round okay write the another definition if a body covers in equal distance the body covers unequal distance in equal intervals of time then the body has non uniform speed okay so if it is covering equal distance in non equal and unequal intervals of time or inequal intervals of time then it has non uniform speed even it is covering unequal distance in equal intervals of time then also it is non uniform speed see i can show you with the help of example see here in equal interval of time it is covering unequal distance for the second one okay for the first one it is equal interval uh, sorry suppose it is covering 10 meter always but time interval is like this 0 to 1 second this much 1 to 3 second then 3 to 8 second so intervals are not equal but distance it is covering equal then it is also non uniform this is also non uniform okay so these are the two cases for non uniform speed okay for uniform speed uh see uh, uh, we are going to draw a graph okay this is time along x axis time is there in seconds okay along y axis we have taken distance and that is there in meter so for uniform speed it travels takes equal time to cover equal distance this much distance it is covering in this much time if you take the same amount of time again it, it will cover again same amount of distance these two distances are equal if these two times are equal again you take the same amount of time you will find it is covering same amount of distance okay so in each interval equal to equal interval of time it will cover equal distance okay 
so we get always a straight line graph for uniform speed if it is non uniform speed then we will get graph like this i am taking time here i am taking distance here and it can it can be like this also here the speed is increasing because see for this small this interval of time it is covering the small distance now you take the same interval of time okay this much and then this much okay see the distance is much larger than this but time is approximately same so same interval of time it is not covering equal distance distance covered is increasing that means its speed is increasing now you can have another graph also the x axis here y axis here origin and here we have taken time t here we have taken distance s suppose it is like this what you find here in this time it has covered this much distance in this time it has covered this much distance okay if you take this much time this much distance what you find gradually time is almost same but what you find the distance covered is decreasing gradually when distance covered is gradually decreasing gradually that means the speed of the body is decreasing because you know speed is distance by time time is same time interval is same but distance is decreasing so speed is also decreasing here in this case speed is increasing in this case speed is decreasing here the speed is constant that is uniform motion speed that is body is having uniform speed these two non uniform speed in non uniform speed again two cases are there either speed is increasing or speed is decreasing here you have seen speed is decreasing here you have seen speed is increasing okay so here we are with the question on the average speed a body covers first 50 meter with speed of 20 meter per second and the last 100 meter with speed 30 meter per second full stop find the average speed for the journey so we have to find out the average speed now see the solution we know the formula already we have derived that is s1 plus s2 v1 v2 by s1 v2 plus s2 v1 okay now s1 is here is how much s1 is given it is 50 meter v1 is here it is given 20 meter per second s2 is how much it is 100 meter and v2 is how much v2 is given 30 meter per second these values we need to put in this so once i am going to put these values let's see what we get 50 plus 100 so 50 oh sorry 50 plus 100 v1 is 20 v2 is 30 so 20 multiply 30 here what we will get s1 into v2 s1 is 50 v2 is 30 so 50 multiply 30 plus s2 s2 is 100 v1 is 20 100 into 20 100 into 20 okay this we get now we are going to solve this remove the question So, V average is equals to how much? 50 plus 100, it is 150. Now, 20 into 30, 2, 3 are 6. So, we will have how much? 6, 100. 50 into 30, 5, 3 are 15. 1500 plus 100 into 20, that is 2000. Now what we can do, we can add these two. So what you will get, 150 into 600 upon 2000 
plus 1500 that is 3500. Now these two zeros we can cancel very easily because here no addition or subtraction is there only multiplication is there okay. And now 15 tenja oh sorry we have to cancel by 5. So 5 3 ja 15 and 30 we will get because 0 okay. 5 7 ja 35 okay. So we are left with how much 30 into 6. So 6 3 ja 18 so we will get 180 by 7. So either you can leave like this or you can convert into decimal okay. So this is the question we have done. Okay. Thank you, children. I will will I will come with new uh, next part of this video, this chapter, okay, as a video lecture. Till then, take care of yourself. Uh, follow the rules of lockdown and be healthy and fine, okay? And keep on studying also, okay, for a better future. God bless you all.